this whole vlog this whole part two vlog is going to be a huge guessing game because if you saw part one then you'll know that i broke my camera because i got a little bit too drunk so i can film on it but i can't see what i'm filming like i broke the viewfinder screen so i have no idea what i'm filming but hopefully this turns out okay because i really enjoyed filming part one of the abitha vlog and i'm literally having I can't explain it, the best time ever. I feel like I just don't care about anything else but this holiday, like work things keep coming up and I'm like, it's fine, it's fine. No one can tell me anything right now because I'm just in my element. I'm so happy we've got another week of it. So obviously now it's week two. We spent week one with my family more than anything, but I think week two is going to be more of a vacation. So we're staying with my family and we'll probably do like the odd thing with them. Like today we're going to go to the beach together. But I think for the rest of the time here, we're going to meet up with some friends and it's going to be more of a vacation. So, oh my God. and we definitely want to go to a club because that's actually, we went to two clubs last week, but it was more like daytime clubs whereas now we want to go to like the 4am clubs or at least once i did actually go out with my family yesterday and i was gonna vlog it but we just had the best time ever we hired a boat for the day we went over to foreman's Hera. we had lunch over there it was just i don't know i can't explain the situations i've been in on this holiday like they've just been the best the best experiences and I'm so grateful. Today's Monday, we leave on Saturday, so we've got a good few days left in Ibiza. That's loud. But today, let me set you up somewhere. Today, we're gonna go to the beach. We're gonna take a picnic down and probably just take some like wine, some beers. Um, not that I drink beer, but Manny suddenly started drinking beer and I blame my family for that. Um, it's still 100 degrees, by the way, which <laughs> I feel like I spoke about so much in the last video, but it, it's just been so hot. His glasses I actually got in Mango the other day in Ibiza. Um, and then this set is with Jean. I have worn this before and I got so many compliments. I love it. So she's coming out again. Look, we got matching shoes for the beach. We're just walking to the beach and it's like an hour's walk, but it's so scenic. Like, we're gonna end up over on that beach over there, but it's like a gorgeous boardwalk. So, we're just walking and Manny's just sweating. It's fire. Do you like it? Love it. Should I try a different colour? I do, I have said I wanted a pink hat though. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, I think that was fire. Found this shop on the beach. Whenever there's a shop, I have to go in. And I've been looking for a pink heart, so maybe this is the one. I feel like the pink's more striking, but this is more wearable. I have to lift it. <laughs> well, you've been saying you wanted a pink one. Do you, what do you think's nicer? Pink. I always forget with beach days it's too windy to actually film anything because obviously the wind from the sea is very loud. So we're spending the day here. There's some water spots which start at like 1pm so we're just waiting for that to start but I think we're going to go grab some lunch and then maybe bring it on here. Talamanca Beach is actually really nice and it was really cheap as well because whenever we go to like the Ushwaya places or when we went to Nassau Beach on Saturday it was like 200 euros for a bed whereas here it's only 30 so it's quite significantly cheaper yeah we just chilling for now i have no idea what i'm vlogging or whether you can even hear me but that's what's going on i also bought my hat i bought a hat and i bought an anklet which i don't know why that is but i hope everyone likes it anyway, come on. <laughs> stop trying to make me run it's too hot i did not like the other sunglasses i feel like they're they're more for you than they are for me. Even though they are women's sunglasses. Which one? Just, the mango ones. Oh. They just don't look the good Sailor on me. The Sailor Aurora ones. The, the Tom Ford ones. We're gonna go grab drinks because we've, we're drinking everything so quickly. We're gonna try and see if there's like a little supermarket open. But the only problem is it's a bank holiday in Spain. So I don't bank actually Monday, know. Isn't it? Yeah, it's bank holiday Monday. So I don't actually know if anything's gonna be open. That's why we but, need to run. 
we've just bought two ice lollies from like the beach bit and it cost us eight euros so we was like there's no point in us ordering drinks there because they're just gonna be so expensive so we may as well just go and stock up at the shop whether the shop's open or not is the question we're gonna play some tennis I'm gonna be so bad at this I hope you do know that what? we need to get the one with Ibiza on it should we? Yeah, I feel like this is a good snack shop. We got the Takis, we got tonic water for gin, water, Fanta. We got this little tennis racket, blueberries. What? Is there cold wine? <gasps> ah, we need this in the UK. Lipton's is just not the same as Nestle. Nestle's so like, even though this is a zero sugar one, it still tastes just amazing. It's so sweet. Manny gets a normal one. Isn't it the best thing ever? Like this for me is on par with Fanta Lemon. Excited for my first tackies of the holiday. We've been looking for these everywhere and we've not been able to find them, but we finally found some. Imagine the hottest day in the world and then times that by 10. Good morning guys, well good afternoon, it's now the next day, um, I was trying to vlog last night but what happened? Did my camera just die? It died out. It, it died but I couldn't tell that it had died because it wasn't showing up on the screen so we never ended up vlogging. Come to this place, it was really like spontaneous and it's called the Fish Shack, you don't get a menu, they basically just tell you what they've caught that morning and I'm having sea bass, Manny's having lamb but it's, it's the most like traditional cute oh my god i don't even know if you can hear me i keep picking these windy spots to vlog it's like the cutest little traditional restaurant let me show you around let me show you so you get some bread and olives when you sit down and then this is this is where it's at you can sit near the sea but it was really windy over there these tables are really romantic actually but the guy our like waiter was saying um if you come here at sunset it is so beautiful imagine like the sun setting behind you well yeah we've come here for lunch so we sat down and I was thinking I can't wait to look at this menu and there isn't one but I'm excited for my sea bass and potatoes what did you say it comes with potatoes and salad, salad, and a side salad. Mm. that is a whole ass fish that's just landed on my plate to be fair I didn't really expect anything less Manny's got some lamb chops Colombia Colombia guys that was the best fish I've ever had. Like, obviously, it was a little bit fussy taking it apart, but I kind of like that because it's more, like, traditional. But that was the best sea bass I've ever eaten in my life. So, if you want to come back here already, but we're trying not to come back to the same places, but I think we're going to have to. We might even have to come back in the evening. Yeah, and it, sunset? Yeah, it was so cheap as well because most places in Ibiza are just so pricey, but it was so affordable it was delicious I'm full so I'm gonna go walk this food off but fish shack in Cap Martinez Tetas or what is it culo does that mean ass titties or ass <laughs> Manny is definitely an ass man but he knows he would get in trouble if he said he was an ass man because I have a flat ass and big tits since we're on holiday all on vodka cokes this is your drink isn't it uncle dave that's the one yum absolute vodka as well nothing cheap oh absolutely i'm gonna go watch one of our friends dj tonight so i think rather than take my camera out because we are going to san antonio and that's when my brother got his phone stolen um i think i'm just gonna vlog on my phone from a semi hungover Madison but honestly it was so worth it and I feel like hangovers never feel as bad if the night was worth it like if it was a rubbish night and I didn't enjoy it then I'd feel 
probably disgusting right now but because I had such a good night oh my god I literally can't stop thinking about it I ne I've never really experienced an Ibiza club before like I've been for like an hour and then just wasn't really feeling the vibe so I left but it was amazing like it's never heard of for me to go out later than 3 a.m like 3 a.m is my cutoff point i can't go any longer i've got to go home but i was out till 6 a.m but yeah it was so good watching our friend omar perform like that was a just such a nice moment and then obviously we saw the martinez brothers as well which was really good but i'm currently getting ready because we did actually have beds reserved at destino which is like a beach club usually i would want to go down without makeup on but i feel like last night is written all over my face so i'm trying to erase it with some concealer and also i feel like um destino is really good for pictures so i might even try and get a few pictures today because obviously we're on our last days and usually after a two-week holiday I'm so ready to go home like after 10 days I'm like okay I'm missing my apartment I'm missing this that and the other but the only things that I'm really missing about life back home is my mom my dad and my friends if it wasn't for them I swear I would extend the stay like I just I don't want to go home I love the standard of living out here I love just being so carefree um it's just been the best holiday i really just want to make the most out of being here for the last few days so we're going to try and put a really cram packed itinerary in um over the next few days and then we can just chill when we get home but yeah i'm going to finish off getting ready um i've got this really cute bikini on today i've been waiting to wear this for when i've got a tan and i feel like i've actually caught a really good tan this year especially because i've been away a few times and i've actively chose to sit out in the sun as well which i think has helped um but yeah i'm gonna finish up getting ready and then we're gonna head off to destino i've just had a quick change because i've brought so many outfits that i wanted to wear but i've just not been able to wear them all because i brought so many so i'm gonna go down in this with jean dress i've got a limerge bandana and my dior sunglasses so i think i'm just gonna get changed when i get there and maybe get some pictures in this because i really want to wear the cute outfits that i've brought like i had so many planned in my head um so i'm gonna go down in this probably eat lunch and then put a bikini on let me try and give you like a little view of the outfit because it is actually really cute I have no idea what you're looking at, wait. <laughs> I feel like this is such a cute dress. Although I wish I got it in an extra small because it's kind of, it's kind of big, but like oh well. Thanks babe. Also yet to wear my hat, but I don't really know how I'm going to wear this. I don't really know why I bought it because I don't even think I can pack it, but I'll probably leave it at my auntie's house and wear it next year when we come. This brings back so many memories from last year. This was the first place me and Manny came on vacation, so it has such a special place in our heart, but honestly Destino is probably the nicest hotel. Like if I was going to recommend a hotel to you, it would be Destino. It just looks like a whole five star resort which i guess it is they also have people performing i think we're gonna maybe try and get down to solomon tomorrow because that's on thursday and my uncle said it was really good so i think we're gonna probably come back tomorrow but this is what it looks like on the inside someone walks in right now i'm gonna be absolutely mortified but this is the bikini of the day and then i have my little chanel on i feel like this is really cute and it goes really well with the vibe i mean this mirror really knew i was coming um, but we've just ordered some food so we're gonna go take some pictures and then eat because honestly as soon as I eat at the minute my stomach literally just bloats so much so we've just sat down and our food's already arrived we're gonna share a tuna burger which looks really good and then we did order a club sandwich but a cob salad turned up but I'm kind of not mad at that because it would have been double carbs otherwise so we're gonna we're gonna half and half. I don't know what it is with me and technology on this holiday, but it's not my friend and I'm not its friend anymore. Why have I been vlogging all day? I actually got some really cute vlogging footage and it's gone. It's all gone. Well, actually not all of it. It just stopped at a certain point and then just the rest of it was blank. So I don't know what's going on, but obviously I just need to go home, buy a new camera, buy some new equipment if I'm honest. Everyone else is chilling tonight, but we're going to go on a double date with our two friends. I just feel like I want to make the most of the time while we're here. I mean, I'm a bit tired now, but I'm going to get the energy. I'm going to go have a shot of coffee 
um maybe a shot of tequila but i have been drinking a lot on this holiday and honestly i need to detox like i ordered a green juice before and i was really hoping it overcompensated for all the alcohol i've been drinking i'm definitely gonna go on a detox when i get home so i'm just gonna enjoy while i'm here <laughs> No, it's okay. We're on a rooftop somewhere. Look at the view. This is the shot. Also, I'm on red wine because I feel like it's not, it's partly good for you. Probably isn't, but I just love red wine. Whenever I sit down to vlog, someone wants to start drilling or a plane flies over my head or crickets start going crazy. I literally can't catch a break. I'm just waiting for a taxi into Old Town because obviously it's our second to last day and I wanna go get all of my souvenirs, my gifts, and I just want a last shopping day to be honest. It is a little bit overcast today as well. I don't know if you can see. It's quite cloudy, so I feel like today's the perfect day to go shopping because otherwise it's just too hot. It's not enjoyable looking around the shops and stuff. And I don't know, I don't like having pool days when it's overcast. That drill's gonna get on my nerves though, so I'm gonna go back inside. But yeah, I'm gonna go and buy a gift for my aunt and uncle and obviously thank them for having us. And probably just look for a gift for like my friends, my mom. The only thing is, I am exhausted. Like yesterday I was okay. Um, let me take these off a second. Yesterday I was okay. I felt like I had energy, but today I've woke up and my energy is on like 20%. So I'm gonna use up this 20% over the next two days. And then when we fly home on Saturday, I'm literally gonna chill for two days straight. I'm not gonna move from my sofa. So yeah, I'm gonna use up all my energy and then recover when I get home but I feel like I'm starting to feel ready to go home now also don't know whether you can see this but this is the shopping day outfit I've just got this little bandeau on from Zara shorts are Urban Outfitters my trainers are Balenciaga and my glasses are weekday the only thing I have found in Ibiza this year let me just double check he's not here the only thing I have found is getting taxis has proven so difficult like i've never experienced it this bad before i think usually there's certain times of day which like you would expect to be bad but it's it's impossible to get a taxi any time of day and i'm worried now because it's like half 12 i'm worried that people start going for siestas at like 2 p.m so we need to hurry up but this taxi is just taking so long just got into old town and as soon as we got here the sun came out i was really looking forward to an overcast day today because i feel like when you're shopping when it's too hot it's just impossible like the sun really takes it out of you um but we're gonna go do some shopping we're actually outside of a shop that my uncle was telling us about that manny would really like so it's called home 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 um but apparently it's a really cool shop. <gasps> this is the shirt that I bought that didn't come. Yeah. Ooh. This is a very pretty shop. Manny's having a good time anyway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tell me how I've just gone live on Instagram. <laughs> that is so embarrassing. I was literally just waffling on my vlog. And... A lot of people were trying to call me to stop the live, but it's a good job I didn't say anything. Not that I say anything bad, but I could have been cursing and my mum could have been watching. But anyway, I hope if you watched that, you enjoyed the minute live that I did. Um, but yeah, I'm staying my ass here. I'm not touching my phone because I don't know how I did that. How do you go live by accident? The store we was just in was all men's, which is fun for money, but not so much for me. So I'm gonna go to Sephora because I feel like Manny hates it when I go in Sephora and I hate it when he's in an all men's store. So I'm gonna have one last look in Sephora and to be honest, I'm ready to spend some money. So I'm looking at Benefit. I'm minding my business. And the girl comes up to me and she's like, we do brows here. That's how I know I need to go home and glow up and get my brows done and my hair done and just fix up because for two weeks, obviously I've been looking dusty and to be fair, I do need my brows doing. But it just made me laugh because we wouldn't have that in the UK, do you know what I mean? Like no one will come up to you like, 
You need your brows doing. I bought a bracelet and a ring from one of these stalls in a past Ibiza vlog and someone said that they definitely ripped me off so I feel like I want to get another one and try and barter but I, I can't do that. I always get really embarrassed and then I'll probably end up paying more knowing me. I really like this necklace. They've got little chilli ones. They're really cute. I really like these ones as well. Manny's buying me a ring. It's not a diamond ring yet, but it's a ring. <laughs> if I'm ever going to recommend a shop in Ibiza, it's this one. I mean, you guys know how I feel about vintage shopping. Bought my favourite pair of jeans ever in this store, and there's just so many cool, like t shirts, dresses. That's fire. I like that a lot. But the amount of um, like cool Levi's and like look at these ones, I saw these the other day. These are the coolest Levi's I've ever seen. I mean they're 400 euros, but still. Yeah, I'm, I'm hungry and I'm tired, so <laughs> I keep trying to speak and words aren't coming out, but I've tried these jeans on. These are D&G and these are probably the lowest waist jeans I've ever tried on. Like, it's literally covering I love them, but are they worth 89 euros? I mean, they're D&G, so they probably are, and I really like the colour of them. So I think I'm gonna get these, and Manny's gonna get some t-shirts. Me and Hannah came to this place on our last Ibiza trip on the first night, and we had the best pizza ever. It's so random though, because it is obviously an Italian bistro, but then they have sushi as well. What do you wanna eat? What do you want? All the pasta. I wish it was spaghetti, but I'll settle for any. That's where they filmed Game of Thrones. And then we've got Marisol, Charlie Chapman, Salvador Dali. Oh, I don't know who he is. Who's that? Do you recognize her? Their water is like actually their water. This is their yeah. restaurant. That's oh. cool. You know, it's 3 p.m. and I've not had a single drop of water today. I've only had coffee. That's, it's 3 p.m. and I feel like a big like, bugger. That's all we keep saying. I don't know whether anyone's seen the video. I don't even know what she says, but it's so funny. I could cry. Tears of happiness. I'm so ready to eat. Manny got bolognese. I got arabiata. Uh, gracias. Um, got some salad. This is the most random salad. Look at that. <laughs> what the hell is that? Um, and fries. Fire. One size. The top is one size, the skirt and two sizes. The top is one? Small one. So it's a high-waisted skirt. It's very... It's beautiful. Party. What colours does it come in? Is I it have black it in black white, yellow and black. Ooh, white, yellow or grey? I don't... I like the skirt, the colour of this skirt. I think that's why I like this one. It's, it's, it's very nice. We're gonna get one last gelato while we're here. I feel like this is our new favorite spot. I don't know the name of it, but it's in the old town and it's so good. Um, do I want, well, okay, maybe. They make it so artistic here. I went with yogurt and mango today because I feel like ice cream might tip me over the edge after that pasta. And then I also got a little macaroon on the top. I don't know what flavor that is, but it looks good. We were gonna go for a nice dinner tonight, but honestly, I'm just, I'm exhausted. So we're just gonna go for a really chilled tapas down at the marina. I'm gonna walk there and I'm gonna try and have an early night so I can really make the most of tomorrow. Um, but I'll do a little haul later because we've really, we've really spent up today. Also, I've started packing, which is making me sad. <laughs> we're at La Bodega and you can't sit with us. That's not nice. We're at La Bodega and we've got plenty of food left for everybody. Look at all these chickens. All these <laughs> we did order tapas, but we've already ate what we could of it. And okay, so this is a Madison hat. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm really sorry if you can hear them crickets. I feel like that's really loud, but I've had to come outside to vlog this because my family are all inside and they're feeling a little bit ropey because what was meant to be a very chilled out tapas evening did not end that way for them. I mean, it was already getting a little bit lively in the restaurant, but then me and Manny went home, my family stayed out and didn't get back to like 3 a.m. So <laughs> everyone's feeling a little bit hungover. So I'm gonna do a little shopping haul out here. We actually ended up spending quite a fair bit. I definitely spent up in Sephora. I did notice things like bum bum cream, which I obviously picked up a bum bum cream, but you're sat on her. Um, Things like that are so much cheaper over here because I swear bum bum, <laughs> bum bum at home, bum bum cream at home is like 40 to 50 pounds. Whereas here, that big tub I swear was like 30 euros. I picked up a Charlotte Tilbury magic cream. I've never tried this before and I've just heard really good things about it. So I thought I would get one of those. I've got some Olaplex because my hair looks like shit and I'm excited to go home and refresh and get my nails done, do my hair. I'm excited for some self care to be honest because I've really not been doing that while I've been out here. I got this from Drunk Elephant. The girl was talking about it in the store and I was like that actually sounds really good. So it's the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. I got a Huda Beauty Flawless Filter Matte Liquid Concealer. I love their foundation. It's a little bit heavy for me now, but I thought I'd try the concealer. I got it in shade Nugget. Um, so yeah, this is just like an under eye concealer. I picked up a new Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because the one I have at the minute is so light on me now because I've caught a tan, I can't use it. I also got the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder because I feel like I used to love the YSL powder, but I've just not found one as good. So I'm on the hunt at the minute for a really good setting powder. I also just picked up an eyebrow pencil because I'm running scarily low of my refi one. So I got this necklace. Um, I think I showed this in the vlog, I can't remember, but it's just this little, little charm necklace. I think I've got it on back to front. I have. Um, I think that's what it looks like. It's really cute. It's got a little green stone and then I don't even know what that is, but I just like I like the way it looks. Went into a shop called Oasis and they had what I feel like is traditional Ibiza attire. This is what I see the locals in, if you know what I mean. So I wanted to buy one. Um, so I got this vest. I thought it was really cute. I like the wash on it. But then you tie it at the back and it's backless. I thought that was really nice. Um, and then, yeah, I got these shorts to go with it. I really liked the little paneling on them. They're like booty shorts. And then I think I've shown you in the vlog me trying it on. I did end up buying the skirt and top. I loved the arms on the top. I feel like I've never seen anything like that. And the arms literally drop lower than my knees. Like if I have my arms down, the sleeve on the arm drops so low. And I really liked that because I've not seen anything like that in the UK. So yeah, I picked up the top and the skirt. Oh, and I also got my D&G jeans, but they're upstairs, so I can't be asked to go and get them. Sorry, a plane literally flew right over my head as I was saying that. Um, but yeah, that's everything I got yesterday. I don't know what we're going to do today. I think we are going to go and try and find some jet skis. I'm feeling so much better after the early night. I mean, I say it was early. It was like still 1am. Um, but I really needed a good sleep because yesterday I felt like... Ibiza used up all my energy. The only thing that I know we're doing today is we're going for quite a nice dinner at a place called Rotto. Um, it's quite like a vibey dinner, very similar to, similar to like um, Leo's, I guess. We're currently looking for jet skis and ended up on a nudist beach. We've Being just been tennis. we've just been watching some older lady play tennis with everything out. Everything out. Everything out. I mean, I actually respect it. I did go topless for the first time. I mean, it was really private. There was probably like three other people where we were. I went topless just to see. Like, I've always just wanted to do it just to like experience being topless but in public. And it was very exhilarating. Thank you. You like it? Thanks, baby. The little flare. Mm. I feel like I can dance in this as well tonight. We're colourful tonight. Okay, the good news is 
I'm ready on time. The bad news is we did not find any jet skis, but I feel like it's an excuse to come on holiday again. Great. That was the answer I was expecting. Um, I've just done my makeup and I used all of the stuff that I got in Sephora and I really like the way it turned out. So I think I'm gonna do some sort of like get ready with me or like makeup tutorial when I get back. Especially because it's my birthday, so I need to do like a birthday get ready with me. Um, but I'll show you what I'm wearing because I love this dress. I've been waiting to wear this the whole holiday. So it's just this Sara pink dress. And I love her. This is my favorite color at the minute. I love money in linen and shirts. You look fire, baby. Let's see what we can fit in this little Chanel because I can probably fit barely anything. Um, there's also on the marina the designer shops and I've seen a bag, uh, a bag, a vest that I want in the Loewe, so I think I'm gonna go get that as well while everyone's having a drink. Kinda wanna get tipsy tonight. Because it's our last night, so obviously it would be rude not to. Um, and then I'm going on a detox. Actually, after my birthday, I'm going on a detox. Only half of us have made it down because only half of us have been able to get a taxi. Honestly, getting taxis in Ibiza at the minute is actually a myth. So if you're coming in the summer, then make sure you either give yourself an hour to get a taxi before your reservation or get a driver or something because it's proven so difficult. Me and Manny are first down with my aunties who are just in a bar, but I'm gonna go get my Loewe vest, which I've been wanting. This is kind of like a birthday present and I also wanted to pick up a new fragrance from Louis Vuitton, which is another birthday present. Um, I don't know whether you guys remember, but when I went to Mykonos for my 23rd birthday, I bought myself a Louis Vuitton perfume and it always just reminded me of being 23 hopefully this one will be my 25th year of life perfume <laughs> guys look at these sunglasses <gasps> they're so pretty I really like the shape of these I don't have any like this so this is the vest that I'm getting um, they also have it in green but I think the white's just more wearable so I'm gonna get this one. I know it's a bit pricey for a vest but I wear vests pretty much every day so I just think it's just such a nice little accent um, so I'm gonna get that. They also have ones that are like a little bit more cropped and then they've got the same colour logo. Um, but I think I prefer this. This is where we're gonna have a drink before we go to the restaurant and the view is stunning. It's a place called Karma um, and you get a really nice view of Ibiza Old Town um, and they do good cocktails here as well. So this is my new favourite drink, it's a little bit long to order but it's tequila with lime, soda water and then you put the pineapple juice in. It's so good but it's not as like sickly as having tequila pineapple all night. The only thing is, it's just a little bit of a nightmare to order. Is this sunset going to give me good lighting for my makeup? I don't know because I can't see the viewfinder. <laughs> but we're just walking to our restaurant now and it's basically in the same place just on the other side huh? look at that boat oh my god look at the little beds on the back tiffany beds tiffany beds that's so cute look at this one uh -huh. look at me one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, he smiled a little bit when it's a number three. Are you right? <gasps> no so way! No way. Sure. No. How? Excellent. One more time, I'm on our three. <laughs> Yeah. I love the fact that he changed his sign. Look at me. Tell me a color. You have to look at him. Tell me a color. One. So number one. Raise your hand and show the number one to everybody, please. Oh, excellent. But we're gonna oh, do one the more But this time, instead of rolling it, you're gonna choose the number you want <laughs> and cover it, all right? Whenever you want, you go. I pick a number. Yes, you pick it. You're picking a number. Ready? No, yet. Yeah. Okay, picked. Ready? 
Yeah. yeah. Look at me. <laughs> no, Emmanuel was saying, what are the chances? No. If, oh. if I put again the number three, he will know, right? Can you raise your hand and put the number, show the number three to everybody? Please? Oh. No way, I didn't even know that. You grab the dice. Are you still doing like this? Which card? Was it three? <laughs> and let's give an applause to Emmanuel. Wow. Excellent. Look at me. Yeah, that's it. You're out of the spell. Don't worry. <laughs> Are you right or left? Right. Right down. And this one close. Excellent. There it is. A little X. Do you feel anything inside your hand? What is going on? Let me see. What is No. Say night. 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 Currently, rocking in down to the UK. It literally feels like we're doing this. Let's sign out the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next. Adios. Adios, amigos.